As the rain clears up, it could mean more trouble for you, especially if you have seasonal allergies. It's impacted a whole lot of households so far this year, and doctors are telling us this. The, the mild winter did not do us any favors. WLWT News South Daniel Dindak is live this morning outside the Southwest Ohio Air Quality Agency with a look at the pollen count. Danielle, you also spoke to several local doctors about our allergy outlook. Yes, good morning, Stephen. So not only does April showers bring May flowers, but it's also bringing us a lot of allergies come this season. And like you mentioned, I'm here at the South Southwest Ohio Air Quality Building, and I want to talk about this building because on top of this building, there are actually sensors that are constantly monitoring the pollen and mold counts in our air. So if you're walking out the door and you say, I have some allergies, what is it looking like today as far as that forecast goes? You can get up to date um, updates right from your phone. All you have to do is download the Pollen Wise app, and here it is. Check this out. You don't want to see this red because right now it's saying that tree pollen level is very high. So like I mentioned, this app is super helpful if you have allergies. I think the important thing is is that most people think there is no help for allergies. They just have to deal with it. And so people have dealt with it for years and just lived with it for years. But there are medicines that work and the immunotherapy really does work as well. If, if people want to come in and be tested and see what they're allergic to and even just knowing what you're allergic to helps you prepare and avoid and, and those sorts of things. Now we do know there are over the counter medications that you can take, but if you're not getting that relief, it is time to see a doctor. The next step can be allergy testing um, to find out specifically what people are allergic to. And then shots can be designed to treat that as an immunotherapy where it desensitizes people to what they're allergic to. So all the drugs out there um, treat the symptoms, but they don't treat the underlying problem. The immunotherapy actually treats the underlying problem. And so that needs an allergy test. So when I moved here, everyone told me and warned me that Cincinnati was the worst place for allergies. But do doctors agree with that? Well, I'll have that answer coming up for you in the next half hour. Reporting live in Coryville this morning, Danielle Zindak, to be able to be a T News 5. Yeah, Danielle, it's a good reminder for me to go get my allergy shots later on today. I need to go get that done. All right, Danielle, uh, let's talk specifically about those over-the-counter medications. You talked to doctors about them. Did they mention which one might be the best? Well, Stephen, as you know, there are the three main ones, whether it's Allegra, Claritin, or Zyrtec. Of course, everyone has their favorite out there, but what doctors say is, of course, pick your favorite, but also go for that generic brand because they said that generic brand and whatever's on sale is the best because of all the molecular levels within those three are very similar. So it's important to get these meds in you before symptoms. I take mine at the end of February before things start blooming. Danielle Dindak live for us on Top of Allergy Season. Danielle, thanks so much.